Astronomically speaking, 2023 is, was a remarkable year. Bright, fiery comets to extraordinary auroras, also known as the Aurora Borealis. Then there was unexpected meteor lunar impacts and also newfound supernovas, designated SN 2023IXF, which was discovered in May 2023 in the Pinwheel Galaxy, were among the most memorable celestial event. However, in 2024, the sky, a vast canvas of cosmic art, is set to display some of its most spectacular spectacles. This year, it will host a series of celestial events that promise to leave us in awe. Join us as we journey through these celestial events that promise to leave us in awe. On April 8th, 2024, total solar eclipse will cross North America, passing over Mexico, the United States and Canada. It will be the last total solar eclipse visible from the contiguous United States until 2044. Most towns in the US aren't on the path. If you stay home, you'll likely only see a partial eclipse. The path of totality will stretch from the west coast of Mexico, passing through Texas, the Midwest United States, and up through the northeastern states, including Maine. So, in the US, totality will begin in Texas at 1.27 p.m. CDT and will end in Maine at 3.35 p.m. EDT on April 8, 2024. The duration of totality will be up to 4 minutes and 27 seconds, almost double that of the Great American Eclipse of August 21st, 2017. However, there are five distinct stages of a total solar eclipse that we can watch for. A total eclipse begins with first contact or partial eclipse. This is when the Moon starts to travel across the face of the Sun. At this stage, the eclipse looks like a bite has been taken out of the Sun. The next phase is second contact and happens a few minutes before totality. Towards the end of this phase, you may observe the phenomenon of Bailey's beads and diamond ring. Once this is gone, totality begins. Totality takes place when the moon covers the entire surface of the sun. At this point in time, only the sun's corona is visible. Totality may last only a minute or two in some locations. The fourth stage is much like the second and first, but in reverse. Diamond ring may be observed again, and Bailey's beads reappear. The last stage is called fourth contact, where the moon completely leaves the face of the sun. So 2024 offers an excellent opportunity to witness different types of eclipses from different parts of the world, the next planetary alignment takes place on April 4th, 2024. It will feature four planets, Venus, Neptune, Saturn and Mars. The planets will align in the morning sky. Venus, Saturn and Mars will be visible to the naked eye. Mars and Saturn will be the first planets to appear about an hour before the local sunrise at a magnitude of 1.2 and 1.1. A little later, Neptune and Venus will rise. The planets will be located in the constellation Pisces, but you'll need a telescope or high-powered binoculars to see Neptune, because Neptune is the, the eighth planet from the Sun, with average distance from the Sun 30 times farther than Earth's, make it difficult to see with the naked eye. Unlike Neptune, it is easy to see Venus because it will be the brightest celestial object after the Moon in the sky. But that's not the only planet conjunction in 2024. There are six planets set to line up in the dawn sky. A large morning alignment of Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune on June 7th and August 28th. However, not all parts of the world have the same view of planetary alignments. The last one, a giant comet. Three times the size of Mount Everest, named 12P slash Ponce Brooks, is quickly making its way toward the inner solar system. It is one of the brightest known periodic comets, discovered on July 12th, 1812. The cryovolcanic comet, made up mostly of ice, dust and gas, underwent multiple outbursts in 2023, and it has surprised astronomers with its rapid increase in brightness. In March, as the comet gets closer to the Sun, it's expected to really pick up pace from the increased pull of our star's gravity. Look for it on April 12th when the comet will appear to swing by brilliant Jupiter, making it much easier to track down. And nine days later, on April 21st, Comet Ponce Brooks will reach its closest point to the Sun and may peak in brightness, 
providing one of the best opportunities to catch a glimpse. Dr. Robert Massey, Deputy Executive Director at the Royal Astronomical Society, said this is something that might just be visible to the naked eye if you don't have a moon in the sky, if there's no light pollution. The other attribute that has piqued the interest of observers worldwide is its occasional horned appearance, earning Ponce Brooks the nickname Devil Comet. This video reminds us of Carl Sagan, quote, Life is but a momentary glimpse of the wonder of this astounding universe. So happy sky gazing. Make sure to subscribe to us for timely space updates.